Oh my god, could it be another super mega cast for people to listen to? Kill me! <laughs> we are always a week or more behind the news cycle because of when we were I know, things. because of the way, the way the podcast has to like be distributed to streaming services. When we record it, everything is so relevant, but then by the time it goes out, it's like, okay guys, cool. Maybe, maybe... Like, what, what big news will have happened since now and when it comes out? I don't know. Maybe Trump will die. In the Dude, don't, don't! Because <laughs> he got COVID in between last podcast and this one. Yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a pretty big news development. So, you know, he has COVID now. Which yep. A lot of people in the White House have COVID now. Well, I mean, from what I remember, the big, the big kind of like... Uh, what, what I, I, the super spreader event? Yeah, the super spreader event at the at the rose the rose garden thing. Which <laughs> luckily we didn't get because we were there. Uh, Kellyanne Kellyanne Conway got it. Chris Christie got it. Trump got it. His wife got it. Um, uh, Kellyanne Conway's daughter. If couple reporters got it. Apparently. A reverend that was there, and we got out lucky because we didn't get it from being there. Uh, yeah, it was weird. He invited us. But I'm I'm glad you know we accepted the offer. We just I'm had glad to, we, didn't we just COVID. had to put on our uh, not 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 our COVID masks, but the the masks that make us look like 60, 70 year old politicians. Yeah, that's that's that's. Uh, See if you can pick Matt and I out. We're standing together. Yeah, but we don't look like you know each other, of mm -hmm. course, just because we were wearing our our mask. But we should get some good ass old people prosthetics and start going out around town <laughs> just for fun like not even to film just for fun just like just be old men and start fucking around with shit and see well, how that, people react that's why uh, Johnny Knoxville probably had so much fun in like Bad Grandpa or when he did it previously in the Jackass episodes and then the Jackass movies where like he would leave his balls sitting on someone's like food <laughs> cause the thing is no one's gonna stop an old man right like, no one's gonna like get mad at or fight like an old man so when he has his like nuts hanging out of his shorts and it's like on the ta side of the table with next to someone's food. It's like, <laughs> God, that shit's so good. I can't wait for Borat too. Oh, and well, Jackass Four is supposed to be a thing, but we'll see. I don't think those guys care too much about COVID holding it off. So we'll see. we'll see. Yeah. Oh, you sniffing those pits, bro? Yeah, it smells kind of like a a kind of like a not washed with soap, but just kind of rinsed off with water. It smells like a pan that recently. Before it was washed out, was used to make uh, taco meat with like with like a uh, sautéed on like El Paso taco mix. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to get a whiff? Sure. I'm, I'm serious. Like you're gonna be like, whoa, that's El Paso tacos. That's that's that's. <laughs> yeah, it is. <coughs> oh. Doesn't it just make you want some tacos? <laughs> it, 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 I'm gagging not because it's so bad, but just because for me, just the thought of like what it is is what's making me gag. But yeah, it does. It really does. It's it it absolutely does. And now I never want to eat the El Paso taco home kits again. Why not? My mom or is it Old Paso? It's El Paso. Okay, I it's think. the one with the the yellow the yellow uh, yeah with it. the with the uh, Porcano Los Dos commercial. Hold up. May, maybe it's not the mix that I use. Hold up. Taco, mix. the yellow box, El Paso, yeah, yeah, the yellow bags where it's like original. Yeah, it is. Oh, old, old El Paso. Ah, okay. Fuck, I got okay. it wrong, dude. And for those who are wondering, why are you using that? It's because my mom used to make the uh, those types of tacos when I was younger, and I now I just have nostalgia for uh, shitty, just kind of like white mom tacos. I think though, every white, even South though my Carolina mom, mom isn't a white mom. Every South Carolina mom made the old El Paso taco kits for dinner. It's easy, man. It just comes with the shells and all the stuff I had you need. soft tacos. Yeah, soft tacos have, were the best. I'd only have meat and cheese in mind, so it was a big kind of, you know, could you imagine, Ryan, nothing but cheese, meat, and just a just a sleeve to hold it together? That's all you need, man. I, abs I Every time my mom would make tacos on taco night, we didn't have like a designated taco night. Taco Tuesdays She'd make me. those kits and, I remember, dude, I would have like five or six because they were small tortillas. We should, we should have a taco night soon. I'm down. I fucking mm. I could I make could your own something. tacos, you know, yeah. get a bunch of ground beef, get tomatoes, yeah, all in separate bowls, and you just make your own tacos. Oh, you know what I haven't done in a while? That's so Sex. good. Come on. What? Come on, what? Stop. Come on, you because you haven't had enough sex that you that you're you're missing the ma a man's touch, a real man's touch. Missing the touch of a woman, not a man. You, you miss Ryan. my beefy hands. No, I miss the touch of a woman. Rubbing the tender, down the, the tender, back gingerly of your touch of deltoids a woman's hand. and spitting on your biceps. 
Dude, I'm just gonna finish what I was saying. Yeah. Uh, the Doritos taco salad, where you just get a bag of Doritos, pop it open, and then you pour all the ingredients of a taco salad in there, shake it up, eat it with a spoon. Or I've a never fork. heard. I've never. Really? Ryan. That makes me want to get the bag of Tapatio Doritos, put a bunch of the meat and then throw cheese in there, crunch it up, you shake it, it up, around. Yeah. Just... See, what I do is I, I'll get a bag of- I'll When get do you the... do this? How long did you do this for? Oh, I've been doing this since- uh, Have you done it when you've lived in mm-hmm. LA? Yeah. Um, How have I never seen you do this? Did you do it when we lived together? I think so. I haven't done it in a while. No, the big thing that you did when we lived together was uh, shake and bake. Dude, shake. Dude, shake and bake was good, man. It's we good, were, man. We were eating good. You can go back to really early Super Mega episodes and hear us talking about shake and bake and tang. <laughs> yep. Like that, we lived off like shake and bake, chicken and, and tang. And uh, <laughs> but the Doritos, I'll get the sweet and spicy chili ones. Okay. You know, then I'll put cheese, meat, lettuce, tomato. Uh, crunch it up, you know, shake it up, and then I'll pour it into a bowl, and then I'll put some green salsa and some sour cream on top, and then take a little lime, squeeze that on top. So it's just a big bowl of slop. Yeah, delicious slop. It's 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 basically just a taco salad, but it's with Doritos instead of uh, it's the Doritos taco salad. It sounds like something you would feed a pig in a trough, but I'm not complaining because whenever I see pigs eat out of a trough, oh, I'm good. I just I'm just like fuck, like Char- dude, Charlotte's Web, dude. We've talked about this recently too. I bet we talked about it in person slop. at my okay. house. Remember? Okay, because you ordered some slop from a restaurant, and we're in my backyard. I, I ordered hello guys, and, and you're like, "Hello guys my is slop wonderful slop." Oh, it's great. Yeah, I mean, it's not good for you. Slop is some of my favorite, like like the genre of food that is known as slop is my favorite. Like like, like a, Chinese mall food, like a big bowl of chipotle. Yeah. A big bowl of just mixed ingredients where it's just slop. That's that's the best, man. It's so easy <laughs> to eat. Like, like a chili or like. Imagine a, back in the day when the you know you, when they're doing the uh, back in frontier America, you fucking have beans and rice and just whatever they had like meat. They throw it into a big into old a, pot. Yeah. Fucking here, have some slop. That's but, that's that's the kind of meal that that I think uh, all Americans should live off of. I think so too. I think we should probably do away with grocery stores and shit and go back to farming <laughs> rice and beans, and everyone can just make slop every night. I and everyone the, makes slop a little differently. I watched The Revenant, and it made me realize how horrifying it would be to live in New Frontier America or quote New Frontier America. You know? Oh my God! Yeah, that dude, that shit had to suck balls, man. Tom Hardy's character, because knowing like there are guys like that that exist today, and you can see their kind of like the way they're thinking, and like I don't know, Nature Boys, Nature Boys, except Nature Boys back in the day were people who would like kill you to make their job easier, you know? Yeah, I haven't seen The Revenant still. I don't you know, know what's wrong with me, but come on, Bart, we've been out here for three weeks. You gonna say we're gonna go up there? Three hundred dollars seems to be since we lost all our pelts. Since we lost all our pelts, you know, I guess these $300, I'll do the work, I'll do the work. Now you want to be smart or you want to be paid? You know, shit like that. Dude, I would not have lasted a fucking second in like New neither, Frontier neither America. Neither would I. Because first I of all, know. the weather, dude, like it, if it's if it's cold, I'm such a Just bitch. Just cut open cold, a horse man. and sleep inside of it. Like uh, Bear Grylls did that with like a with the camel, I think. Luke Skywalker. No, Han Solo was the one that cut open the... What is it called? The, I, I saw that scene because, you know, I haven't seen that movie, but I walked in and my sister was watching it. And I just saw that scene when I was a kid and I got scared and walked <laughs> out. We like cuts it open and. Yeah. What the Tauntaun. Taun, Tauntaun. Yeah. That's what it's called. Sorry. I just remembered it. You saw it. Did you see my eyes light up? And went boing. Yeah. Because uh, Luke was captured by the, Im- the abominable snowman <laughs> and then Han Solo. No, he he cuts off the arm of the abominable sn- snowman, start escapes passes out from being cold and then Han finds him and then Han cuts open the Tauntaun I think to I'm stuff Han Luke Solo. inside I'm Han Solo I'm, I'm Han Solo I really want to do a, a video of us doing that Just Dance but it's copyrighted <laughs> ah, we could just demonetize that one we could sing it ourselves and overlay it I'm putting up my shades to cover up my eyes and- <laughs> I'm Han Solo I'm Han Solo I'm Han Solo Solo God that <laughs> who thought of that is a genius. I know. It's I know. It's fucking genius, genius, dude. Like, let me look up the lyrics to that real quick. Listen okay. To this. Okay. So, for those who don't know, uh, it's a. It was a very popular meme for a while too. Uh, Just showing the clip of the Han Solo shit. Han Solo lyrics. Boom. It was on Connect Star Wars. 
Song by MC Chris? Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Off to Moe's eyes, the Wookiee by my side. The speed that I ride is light, can't be denied. I'm solo, Han I'm Solo. I'm Han I'm Solo, solo. I'm on Solo. Hey there, mister, don't get the picture. I'll do a fake out, make out with your sister. I'm so... Is that Wait, what? Oh, because he made out with, uh, with, with Leia, who was Luke's sister. Damn, dude, okay. I'll make out with your sister. <laughs> That's actually a lyric in the Han Solo song. I mean, maybe the Beautiful. version for Just Dance is different, but is there... He it, does make out with... Well, Luke got to kiss her first. Yeah, isn't there like some incest stuff in Star Wars? No, it wasn't intentional. Not intentional. They didn't know that they were brother and sister, and, and Leia kisses Luke as kind of like a <sighs> fuck you to Han Solo. But did you know that um the late Princess Leia... Drew Carey. What's her name? Drew Carey? <laughs> what's yeah, she's played by Drew Carey. <laughs> no. In drag. No, her, her, what's her first name? I forgot her first name. She's the actress who plays uh, Princess Leia. Wasn't her first name Carey? Carrie Fisher, sorry. Yeah. 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 Sorry, when Drew you said- Drew Carey Fisher. <laughs> Drew Carey Fisher. But, but, um, but Carrie Fisher actually um, slammed, uh, what's Han Solo? George Carey. Costanza. Costanza. <laughs> Imagine if George Costanza. George Costanza so and then Drew uh, Carey. <laughs> no, but <laughs> why do I want to say his name's Boris? His name's fucking Harrison Ford. <laughs> Boris, Boris Ford. Ford. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a Boris to me and he acts like a Boris. But anyways, they actually fucked in real life. Harrison Ford I, and Carrie Fisher? Yeah, they were talking. I was watching something back in the day where they, she was she was talking about back in the day, and I think, I think there was in, infidelity between them in terms of one of them was committing infidelity against their partner with the other one. I don't, I can't remember some shit. Damn, dude. Oh, that's Hollywood. Everyone's sleeping with each other in Hollywood. Yeah, especially in the let's play industry, that is part of Hollywood technically. So yeah, all the let's players sleep together. At, like. Like Markiplier fucks Jack Septicai, who fucks PewDiePie, who fucks Captain Sparkles. It's this big line. It's, yeah, it's this big like we. I could probably map it out if I had a, a chalkboard. And uh, but it's very complicated. Like a lot of a lot of wires will cross. Yeah. We're, unfortunately, Ryan and I are not on there. No. Uh, yet. So. I mean, we've sent in our applications. We said we'd even be pegged. But still haven't been been fucked by the Let's Playing community, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Still trying, still trying, though. I think it's probably because we don't have a million subs. Once we reach a million, then we might we might hear we back might from get them. some uh, get some of that peg action, or if we're lucky, just some of the regular sex. Oh, hopefully, just some sex, dude. I can't get enough sex. Just some just some sex would be good. Why do why would girls like pegging someone? I don't know. Like, I, I've seen the meme of kind of like, hey, let's, I'm going to peg you. Or when you ask him to get pegged, and then I'm like, I'm like, the reason I, 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 guys want to, I guess, have sex with people isn't because they just like the thought of an inanimate object, or sorry, an, an, an animate object, very animate object, g going in and out of a hole. It's because it actually, f you feel something by doing it. There, there, there are um, a lot of, a lot of neurons being fired off. I, you know what I'm saying? I, I guess we can't understand it because we're not we're not women. But like, I just want to stick this rod in a hairy asshole. And man, I, I, like, I don't get it. I don't get it either. I don't understand. I don't know man. why a girl would would like think that that's hot necessarily. But at the same time, I can't. I, I don't know because I, I don't have that. Just you know, I just, just I love women women so much that I can't ever imagine anything <laughs> like that because that would just for me to think about that, that would be gay and I can't imagine. Anything it's not like even that. the fact it's gay. It's that there's no physical repercussions positively for doing the act. For the or it's woman. like for the woman because it's like because like you ask a woman it's like do you want to be fucked in the ass? Most most women I'm assuming would say no. I would not like to be fucked. It's not something that's comfortable for me. I'll do it like in the heat of the moment, but no, I I would not like to be fucked in the ass. But the reason some women are like, yeah, I'll do anal is because the boyfriend's like, oh, come on, let's do anal. Come on, come on. I heard it's tighter. I heard that I'll get some brown on my penis. Dude, 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 I got some brown on my dick. Dude, dude, save it. Save it. Save save it for Easter. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, Ryan. Here's the big question. Would you get pegged? No. I'm just, I, I get nothing from it. They get nothing from, from hey, it. Hey, hey, you like would I'm get something from it, bro. You got that prostate. 
Yeah, but you need to stimulate the prostate. You don't need something consistently Dude, no, pounding into that, your That ass. will stimulate the prostate. You need someone, yeah, but to stimulate the prostate, you need more of like kind of a finger just up there. Kind of massaging. Yeah, but you, you, know, know, you don't need men, something. Men, just, men come from anal <clears throat> sex, <clears throat> so clearly it works. They don't come from strictly. They they they, they come. Can. They can't have a... the stimuli of their prostate. Right, right. They don't right. come from the act of a penis going in and out of the orifice. It's, right, it's, right. It's, it's the it's the, the prostate. prostate, which is deep within the asshole, which is something that women can, will never know. The, yep. the sorry, ladies, you the won't understand. Of, uh, being being uh, janked off through your prostate. Ryan and I make sure at least twice a week to milk our prostates because <laughs> it's it's an important way to uh, avoid prostate cancer. Fun fact, it actually is. It's a, it's a really good way to uh, That's why you can ask your doctor cancer. to stimulate your prostate because That's it's good. That's not true. It can is? you really? Yeah. You can, no, you can't. I feel like we already had it's this It's good for prostate health. He doesn't make you come. Oh, he goes okay. up there and he stimulates your prostate. You might feel good a little. I thought I thought you were I'm saying fucking with you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I was like <laughs> I don't I don't at least I don't believe you can ask a a, a healthcare worker to stimulate hey, your doc. prostate. Hey, no, because I had some I had another friend once Can you tell jerk me, that. me off at the same time too? Cuz I had a friend tell me that you come at the end of a prostate exam and like that's just that's how you know <laughs> that your your prostate's good. And they fully believed it. And did I, you, I did you who did you tell that to? No, I didn't tell that to anyone. But I just thought. Oh, that's I thought what you. Was I thought you told that to a friend. No, someone told me that. Okay. A friend told me that, and then when I heard that, I was like, may, may, "Is that a?" No, obviously. I'm sure you some people could come, dude. Imagine how embarrassing that'd be. The doctor sticks his finger up your ass, and you just come all over the table. Luckily, I've never. <sighs> Luckily, I've never had the problem of coming uh, too early. Yeah. Uh, I've 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 had the. Well, here's the thing. Like, I don't count coming too early as once I get it out. Once I get it out, the sex has started. That's not coming early. I, I, I coming early would be like if I if I came 20 minutes on the drive over. You know, that's yeah, what that's yep, what coming yep. early is. Like before I. But I'm a real man. I wait till my penis is out to come. Yes. Well, usually for me, it's like uh, two or three thrusts. I finish, and that's fine with me. And if 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 you can get a thrust in, sometimes. I was being generous when I said two or three, but if she's upset because I did it that fast, that she should just be happy that 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 she she made me uh, ejaculate that quickly. Usually, it's the fine caress of the flow of air that that kind of creates that that uh, that premature ejaculate. Yeah, when my penis is coming out of my shorts, the that gust of the air, gust of air from from in shorts to out of shorts, usually that's enough to do it for me. Um, have you stopped listening yet, Mother? Is this enough? This is to this is to turn turn our, our moms off from yeah. listening to this. My because she does listen. She's like sometimes she'll be like, I had to skip. My mom says that too. <laughs> she mom Christian. To... <laughs> <laughs> I had to skip. <laughs> I had to, you know, I had to skip because sometimes it was a little a little too much. Okay, and I'd be like, okay. I mean, I get it. On um, yeah, no, I get. But that. you don't have to listen to my podcast. You know me in real life. On that front, you are my mother. On that front, when I was when I was visiting my mom, remember, I guess a long time ago, we were t- not, not probably not even that long ago. We were telling stories about the first times we ever we ever jerked it, mm-hmm. and I said the first time I ever did it was in my grandmother's bathroom, <laughs> and. I was at my my grandma's house in South Carolina, my late grandmother's house. Did and your mom bring it up? I'm sitting with my mom, and and I'm we're talking about the podcast, and she's like, "Yeah, I I have to skip some stuff, Matthew. It's it's uncomfortable to listen to." I was like, "Like what?" And she's like, "I don't know. I'm like maybe something with that bathroom back there." And I was like, <laughs> "Oh my god." <laughs> so yeah, I'm glad. You know, not not many not many people can say not many grown men can say that their mother knows the story of the first time they masturbated, unless it had to do with their mother. But yeah, uh, for me personally, I'm glad that my mom knows and your mom knows yours. Um, when, so. uh, did I even say the first time? I, I can't. Mm-hmm. I don't know even. Do See, I remember? Dude, we don't remember anything from the podcast. No, I don't even remember that. I don't think I do remember the first time I I did anything. I don't think I had an experience to share. I think I had an experience of like learning. I don't know. I wasn't at our house, Mom. I know that. I don't believe I was. I think I was at my dad's. I was about to tell a story, but I realized I shouldn't. About what? Just this topic. And I, I was like, eh. About masturbating? That story's, that's a little too crude for the podcast. Everyone masturbates. No, I know that. I know that. Everyone. It's, it's just this story is 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 funny, but 
It's a uh, you have girls fucking like ew, dude. I don't even want to think about a girl masturbating. You have girls like humping their pillows. Oh, stop, dude. Stop. You know, guys. Guys are very just straightforward. We know exactly what we're doing. Girls, they'll fucking use their jeans to masturbate. Come on, they'll guys. use the washing machine to masturbate. Yeah, yeah real, real slick pillows. with the washing machine. They'll, they'll, they'll have their jeans and they'll cross their legs like this and then they'll start doing this. I hate it, dude. It's like, it's like what are you doing? Just, just come on. Come on. Well, it's, it's, it's just get a broomstick. It, it, it's, it's rude for a woman to pleasure herself. That's a man's job. That's a man's duty, you know? Yeah. Just as it's a woman's duty to pleasure a man. Um, the man's allowed to pleasure himself too, but it, it's specifically, it is a woman's duty to do that. Um, and women shouldn't even be pleasuring themselves ever. That's, that's honestly, that's very immodest. That's, that's not very humble of them. It's gay. Yeah. It's, it's absolutely gay. Um, so I'm going to have to veto that one. Women. Sorry. Poof, canceled. Even though, even though apparently God gave women better orgasms for some fucking reason. Yeah, you, you ladies win in that aspect, but uh I'm so pissed. You guys have to go kill God for that one. Dude, what if we killed God? What, uh like in the Golden Compass. I was about to say the Golden Compass. Uh my my parents didn't want me to see that that movie because of that. They don't kill him in that movie. They only made one of those, didn't they? They don't kill like the Christian God, I believe. I believe it's like all symbolism, right? It's all this is like the movie isn't like when you watch the movie, it's not like, oh, Jesus, what's going on? My dad hates you. We need to kill God. Like, it's not this thing. It's it's a fantasy novel where I feel like it has it has a very atheist undertone, but yeah. it's not about killing the Christian God, I believe, in this reality or whatever. It's a fucking fiction book. Who cares? Yeah. Well, my parents were scared that if I saw God being killed on screen <laughs> it might give me some ideas god is do they god is not humanoid from what i from what i remember hey we're made in the image of god <sighs> okay so god's a fucking uh god has more of a so we're more advanced than god actually because if we were made in his image then god's a monkey then god's a fucking monkey. god's a monkey then fucking because the first humans a were low monkeys. browed heavy he heavy headed monkey you know deep set eyes big big protruding like like mouth area real lanky arms and kind of cur <laughs> curved I'm back i'm picturing god just like as a monkey also be like who who snaps his fingers all of a sudden a civilization happens hoo, hoo. <laughs> <laughs> like scaring himself, he keeps accidentally creating shit. Like God, God's not smart. That at all. would make a lot more sense. God's just a dumbass like monkey and accidentally <laughs> creates shit, and he doesn't like know what to do. <laughs> and it just keeps happening. It scared him. <laughs> I remember the worst thing that like one of the like I was like how how is this allowed? They're gonna go to hell. Was when I was watching an episode of South Park and they made the character of God like this disgusting platypus monster looking thing. Have you ever seen that? <laughs> yeah, episode? yeah, I have. Yeah. And I just remember being like, oh, my God. I remember being legitimately offended. But now it doesn't matter. I got offended at South Park um, about the, the episode when they made fun of Christian rock. When I was when I was like. A, <laughs> when like when a, they turned like a bunch of songs into. Well, they turned like love songs into, into Jesus yeah. songs. Yeah. Which is hilarious because it's absolutely true. But I remember watching that and being like. I feel you oh. inside of me, Jesus. It's South Park is great. South Park. Uh, dude, they just don't give an F. They couldn't be bothered. They don't, but I, I I think at the end of the day, right? They're they're both just actual assholes. Matt Matt Stone and Trey Parker. They're the type of person that's like who, where it comes across as like as long as we're having fun, you know what I mean? Yeah. Those types of comedians. Yeah. Where it's like as long as as long as we, I mean, they're 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 judging everything, right? It, they're constantly they're 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 that person in your friend group that hates everything, right? But yes. they also, they do it in a way that's very entertaining. I'm not saying this is all negative. I'm saying, though, it can get, I like, I feel like them as a personality could be kind of dickish, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah, no, I get that vibe. I, I, I do. I mean, just like I'm sure we're dickish or a lot of other dude, we're people not that work in. We're not dicks. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. We're very nice people. I, I respect them for going to the uh, Academy Awards. Um in drag on acid. <laughs> that was awesome, though. See, that's what I mean. You need people like that, I think, in the entertainment industry of all places. I like you, you need people that, like, don't give a fuck, that, 
sure, like on a day to day setting or in a social setting might probably be a little like Jesus fucking Christ. You're always on about this shit. But you, I think you need that in terms of like, yeah, Damon, I can't imagine. I watched an interview where they were talking about that. And I get like in theory that sounded funny. But he said as soon as like the limo door opens. <laughs> And he's tripping, and he suddenly realizes the entire world is watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like that, if you're tripping, and, and that ha- like that's, <gasps> dude, that's gotta be freaky. You could see it on his on their faces. They're like, <sighs> like that would be terrifying. I think at the end end of the day, it's cool because they're like your average Joe that has a show. You know what I mean? I didn't mean to make no, that. No, keep rhyme. it going. No, keep no, going. Keep no, going. No, no, I'm not gonna. Keep no, going. no, you rhymed no, again. I had a thought. I don't want to go on this pre-adolescent no! fucking no. No. You were doing it. I was. No, I'm not. Damn. <laughs> well, it was good. It was. I liked the rhymes. Yeah. Yeah, but but those guys. Uh, there was there in in, in I I do get what you're saying. Uh, because I feel like you kind of have to be with that stuff. But, um, you need to be able to question everything, right? Like. I, I don't think everyone should be questioning everything because then you're going to be like, oh, where does this water come from? Where does this food come from? Do you wash their food? Are they putting things in my water that make me think that, you know, you're, you turn into an Alex Jones at some point. Yeah. But with them and their show, I feel like they at least hold it back where you could see the route they could take to actually have South Park be something that propagates negative ideas or negative concepts or ways to look at things. But it's always just like, no, we're just shooting the shit. We're just having fun. We just happen to get this show that's as successful as it is. And we get to be assholes to like big corporations and big companies. And we're still successful. That's one thing I love. Which is, is, which is really cool. It is because they can basically like, they just kind of have this free pass to, to like make fun of any corporation, any person in like, they're like. The and it's, just, it's South Park. But people still yeah, get mad. Because they're like, oh, it's just, it, that's the thing. It's, it's just South Park. Because yeah. like Comedy Central is never going to be like, all right, guys, South Park, you went too far this time. We're taking you off the air. Yeah. No, because people still watch South Park all the time. They just had the pandemic special. Which for some yeah. reason this official South Park account kept tweeting at me about. I just got this tweet that said at Matt H Watson, like the pandemic special is this Sunday. Just a reminder. I, re- I don't know why. I remember the last time I was surprised by a South Park episode. Um, it was whenever this was because I have I I go on like in and outs of watching it. I guess um, the last time I watched it was probably a few years ago, and it was the episode where they on screen rape Donald Trump. I have not seen that one. Or they rape his likeness. Let me see if I can... F- Hold up. Dude, they they, they really go far sometimes. Uh, I'm, I'm, I, no, I remember a moment like that was when they raped George Lucas... Or George Lucas rapes Indiana Jones, right? Yeah. Some crazy shit on South Park. I remember a couple of things on that show where I was like, holy shit. The first episode I ever saw was the Scientology episode, I believe. Like, okay, Ryan, what is, like, what is this? What is that? Uh, go behind the scenes to see how South Park pulled off its first ever supersized episode completely remotely. Wait, what? Look at the beginning of the tweet. Oh. <laughs> they, wait, the South Park yeah, account twice. tweeted at you. At Matt H. Watson, the pandemic special premieres tonight at 8, 7 central on Comedy Central. Wait. Hey, Hold up. Are, see? see? Oh, we gotta get to, you gotta get to the end. Hold up. Is it Mr. Garrison Trump? Yeah, but they have like a Trump in Canada. Oh. How did a and U.S. citizen get past my wall? I came here to find out where my country gone. Where your country gone? Where my country gone? No, where my country gone, bitch? Nobody talks to me like that, buddy. Nobody talks to me like that, friend. All right. Yeah. Fight. A little, little rolling around. A little wrestling. Oh. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> South Park really goes there sometimes. Uh, you know what episode I... <laughs> Jesus Christ. They, they, uh... Remember the scissoring episode? Who, who do they get the scissor? It's Mr. Garrison and someone else, but they just like, ha- they just like animated them like fully scissoring up close like a bunch. <laughs> oh, dude, I think the the, fu- the, the well, thing was- that freaked me out the most as a kid was in the episode where Mr. Garrison gets a sex change. They keep, like during the surgery scene, they keep 
cutting back and forth to, to real. legit footage of a <laughs> sex reassignment surgery. And like they'll just be like, all right, now I'm just gonna I remove know. the testicle, and like it'll show real footage of like the balls being pulled out and stuff. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, and it was on television oh, that's too. So good. It's <laughs> like it's really funny. It's it's good. That's why we need. And people might have mistaken when I called them assholes. I don't mean that coming from like I'm not trying to be a dick or say that it's a negative thing that they're assholes. I think it's a good thing that they're assholes because that's what makes South Park what it is. Yeah, yeah. And it gives them like it gives them the confidence and the want to kind of take on or kind of test the limits, I feel, in the way that they do. Yeah. I wish we were South Park characters, man. South like, Park well, PewDiePie was. On they South put Park. Game Grumps in South Park. When's Super Mega gonna did be they in put South Game Park? Grumps they did. They yeah. put the name game. They, yeah, so when I Ike opens you see Ike's browsing history in the yeah. episode and it says Game Grumps and Markiplier and PewDiePie. Didn't they actually get PewDiePie to be like act? Yeah. To There's a two-part episode. episode that he's in. Like he's I in think it. He's, he's in like the corner of the screen. Which that's when's Super Mega getting a South Park episode? I don't know, dude. Like Felix has done a lot, hasn't he? He was on Colbert, like interviewed. He like I think Colbert. He he's yeah, I mean Felix really has done a lot. Will he be interviewed now on like left wing media media media, I guess? Is, is he seen? Is he seen as a as a right figure right now? Regardless, I don't think anymore. I, for a while, for sure. Uh, I, don't, I still I don't, feel like there's a lot of people who hold that grudge. Yeah, for sure. I don't know. What a silly grudge to hold. <laughs> it was only language. <laughs> it was just speech. <laughs> it was his freedom of speech. Uh, I can't. I can't play PUBG anymore and ever see that bridge without. Can we build? <laughs> can we rebuild that bridge in our Minecraft server? Sure, man. Well, we can get him on an episode, and then we can be like, "Okay, stand here." We we, we have we have something special uh, to show you. <laughs> we'll build like a little box and the for him to put his character in. I've been playing Minecraft all weekend with uh with Christian. It's well, it's, I've been reading ads all weekend. So, like, you, what you think you could help me this time? Uh, yeah, yeah, I I could help you with a few. Okay. What's up, you little freaks? I recently watched a documentary on Netflix, and I'm sure many of you have watched, called The Social Dilemma. And uh, it was a really good documentary, and it kind of opened my eyes to how much information and data about us is being taken by these big tech companies and how much they're targeting us with it. You know, they're affecting our emotions, our moods, just trying to constantly sell us stuff. They call it surveillance capitalism. When my data is being harvested so tech billionaires can get even richer, that's where we draw the line at Super Mega. And that's why we put a layer of protection around our data with ExpressVPN. Every time you use the internet, big tech companies mine your data by tracking your searches, messages, and video history. Uh-oh, someone's in trouble for what they've been looking at. But when you run ExpressVPN on your device, it hides your IP address, which websites can use to personally identify you. That makes your activity more difficult to trace and sell to advertisers. You still need to be careful with what you share on social media, but ExpressVPN can make your web browsing more anonymous. ExpressVPN also encrypts 100% of your internet data to keep you safe from hackers and prying eyes. Many VPNs slow down your internet, but not ExpressVPN. It's incredibly fast and easy to use. Just tap one button and you're protected. Ryan uses ExpressVPN uh, to watch Canadian Netflix with his Canadian friends when they want to watch something together, but it's not on American Netflix. Beautiful. So if you don't like the idea of tech companies exploiting your personal information, then visit expressvpn.com slash supermega right now, and you can get three extra months of ExpressVPN for free. That's expressvpn.com slash supermega to protect your data. Go to expressvpn.com slash supermega. MeUndies believes that comfort is more about than what's touching your skin. It's about feeling comfortable in your skin. Keyword, your, not someone else's. This isn't a Michael Myers movie, but it's almost Halloween, which means you can now match your undies to the spookiest season of all time. MeUndies just launched three new Halloween prints, so whether you're into cats, blood, or skeletons, they've got something right up your haunted alley. Guys, we've been saying it for years now. We threw out all our underwear a long time ago and replaced it completely with MeUndies, uh, except for my soiled whitey tidies. I keep those for good luck, but everything else is MeUndies because it's the softest underwear, it's stretchy, it, it, it feels so good on my groin nether regions, it's wonderful. Their undies grow on trees, seriously. They're made from irresistibly soft natural fibers sourced from <laughs> beechwood trees. And you know what natural fibers mean? That their micromodal is not only super soft, 
but breathable, light, and impossibly cozy. That's some serious comfort. Everything MeUndies does is to help you feel truly comfortable from head to toe, from outside to in. And with a MeUndies membership, you'll never run out of undies, a subscription that sends new pairs right to your door. Because who really wants to grab that questionable six-pack of underwear at your local drugstore? Plus, get site-wide savings and exclusive sales. I have the MeUndies membership, as does Ryan, and we get new undies every month, and it's fantastic. So, MeUndies has a great offer for our listeners. For any first-time purchasers, you'll get 15% off and free shipping. MeUndies also has their problem-free philosophy. If you're not satisfied with any product for any reason, they'll refund or exchange it. No caveats, no questions. So to get your 15% off your first order and free shipping, go to MeUndies.com slash SuperMega. That's MeUndies.com slash SuperMega. Did that help? Was it good? Yeah. Was that good enough? Yeah, you were saying something about Minecraft oh, yeah. before we started the ad reads or whatever. I was just playing Minecraft a lot this week, and I, I, on Saturday, I woke up and... I think all day I just played Minecraft and it felt really good because I, I usually don't do anything like that. I usually never play games all day, but I, I was like, you know what? Frick it. I, I had a good week. I treated myself to play a little bit of Minecraft and I really enjoyed it. No, wait. Sat no, f I'm sorry. Saturday I went to, to George's house, but then Sunday I played Minecraft all day. <laughs> I wonder if... That's going to make anyone turn off the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> just, and you're talking the whole time. We need to record some I've more of those. I've played nothing but Sea of Thieves, dude. That's what I'm addicted Guess, to. Wait, do you want to play tonight? What? Sea of Thieves. Why? Just because Jackson and Christian were going to play tonight, and they were they wanted to ask if I wanted to try it for the first time. Oh, shit. Do you want to, do you want to join, too? Do you want to play some Sea of Thieves? I'm down. I'm I've down. Never, I've never played it, so. You've never played it? I've never it's, played it's, it. I can see people not really getting into it. And by people, I mean... Me. All of y'all. No, Jackson and Christian play like, a ton. Okay, they play a ton? Yeah, they play it every week. Oh, wait, really? Christian streams it, and Jackson streams it. Christian streams it? Yeah. I didn't even know they stream it now. Yeah. It, it, I, I am I am excited to to try it, though. I, I do I gotta... Usually keep up, I, I haven't seen Jackson stream in a bit. Yeah, dude, you know, I tell you what, man. I'll just be sitting in my, in my, in my room, and I hear Jackson screaming from his room. You know, it's I just hear him screaming and streaming. Ah, oh, screaming and streaming. Oh, I'm trying to adjust the snapback of my my Cookie Monster snapback right now, dude. I got. I'm just gonna be honest though. Minecraft is. I've I've been having a big Minecraft reawakening. Uh, partly due to the fact that we've been playing it for Super Mega, um, and I've I've been having just so much fun playing it. But I've been playing it personally with on a little in home server, and it's just been. It's fucking best game ever, man. It's 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 like the it literally is like the best game ever made. It's just unbelievable. It's it's just so beautiful. You can do whatever you want. There's platforming, survival, everything, man. You can, you can create creativity. You can build a computer in it with redstone. Look, wasn't there someone who like was like I I did Microsoft Word using redstone in yeah. Minecraft? People like do crazy shit with it. Like so I've, I saw someone build build a calculator that worked. It's like how? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Tune into our Minecraft series where we'll be doing things like that. No, we won't. <laughs> <laughs> I love. We're like we're what eight episodes in and nine. we managed nine. We meant no way. Yeah, we did nine. We did three? No, we did three and then five. That's eight. You bitch. You're trying to lie to me. Sorry. I we got him recorded. One's apparently going to be uploaded today. I'm so excited to watch it. I, I, I'm going to watch it today. That, that's 100%. the most fun I've had recording a series in like years. That would, I cannot wait for that to come out. I'm waiting for that. So, so. Got to think uh, of a thumbnail. You're right. We do, we do run into some tragedy though in episode six. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. End of episode six. That's all I'll say. There's a. Uh, Episode still, episode, sorry, still, episode three is still probably my favorite <laughs> costume I've worn. It's great. We change our Minecraft skins every single episode and we don't tell each other what we're going to be. So <laughs> when we load in for the episodes, when we see each other for the first time, I really like So the, technically we've gone through 16 skins. Yeah. Yeah. 16 skins. I'm adding them all to my Minecraft library. And when I look at my skin library, it's just awful. It's just <laughs> the worst. I need to get some that aren't like even... Uh, IPs. I just need to have some bad skins that people make every well, now and then. A good good thing to do is go on like the skin decks or one of those websites and just sort by new and you'll just see all these ones that like 11 year olds make and they <laughs> suck. Because you'll see ones 11 year olds make. There was one with like
one that looked like a Lego character that you wore the other day. It was just a smiley face. That was that was the Roblox. Movie. <laughs> okay, you looked like a Roblox man. <laughs> but uh, I'll split. First episode, I got my skin was XXX Tentacion, but it was clearly done by like I think it was done by like a fourteen year old. Because there were good skins of X, but I I chose a bad one. And uh, just go sort by new, and you'll you'll find like IPs. Like it'll be like Iron Man. We'll just be like red with like a just a yellow circle in the middle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we should uh, we should pick them for each other sometime. Like we should give each other. Okay, we should give each other our passwords so I get to sign into your account uh, and change yours via okay. browser. So then you when can't we load check in before. Yeah, when we load in. We each are the. Skin that the other person chose. Doesn't it smell like taco meat? It does. It does. It's 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 a bit a bit sour. It's a bit sweet, uh, robust. Yeah, like sour. It is interesting. Is it because I've been eating unhealthily lately? Probably the way you eat does affect the way you smell. I've been eating. Oh my god! I had a whole week of bad eating. Oh really? Seven full days. Hey, don't make it eight. I won't. Don't I won't. make it eight. I am. Uh, I have. I have been sober for eight days now. Nice. How many more days until you go in? Whatever. I don't know. They said they would call me. They called me to tell me. They called me the other day to say they would call me, and so I'm waiting on that. Hey, so we're gonna call you? That's literally. Like, they called me like, "Hey, Matthew, we got your uh, referral from the doctor. Uh, we'll call you." And I was like, "Thank you." And I'm still waiting. So you don't know how much longer they didn't even give you. You'll be doing this for two weeks and then going in. It's just like. No, I actually really, I feel really good though. Like, it's, right? It's super noticeably different. Like, uh, the biggest notice is I just have more energy during the day when I don't drink. When you don't drink, when you don't smoke? Yeah, yeah. I, because I quit, uh, I, I had, had a little cave in with a little nicotine, a little puff bar right mm-hmm. before. So I quit nicotine and any kind of substance. Uh, and it feels good. It feels really good. Um, the, the urge to want to drink is, is, way down the first few days i was like fuck i just want to drink but i was just i'm so i'm just so used to drinking because i usually drink like every day i have a couple beers when i get home or something um we're, we're a heavy drinking household here at uh if with, with i the Tucker bros lived with someone i would probably drink more but i don't want to drink alone and i'd rather just smoke up alone see that's the thing high. when we lived together neither of us were really into drinking and then after i turned 21 i would get that whiskey sometimes and i'd drink it in my room and you'd get that wine, but then the Tucker brothers, they, they they're drink big drinks. Yeah. And they, well, they came straight out of fucking college, right? Mm-hmm. So they still have. And that. Jackson's really into making drinks. So he's making drinks every <laughs> night. And Christian's living with us and he loves drinking too. So every day when everyone's making drinks and stuff, I'm like, oh, fun. I'll have you a drink. You want to try this drink I made? You're like, I mean, I might as well help a friend. I feel good though. I feel, I feel, uh, I feel healthier. I don't feel as tired throughout the day, which is a, a big thing, which is very important. And I'm starting to exercise too. I've been doing just little things, like just like 20 push-ups a day, just do something you, small. Do you think that one of the main factors could have been like your health ultimately? Cause I've noticed that like there are times and I'm starting to eat worse and I notice it when I wake up, like even when I woke up this morning versus even how I slept, I'll get, when I'm smoking cigarettes um, and I'm eating poorly, I notice that I have worse energy, I sleep worse, my head, I have, yeah. I have more headaches more frequently. I am more kind of strained. <laughs> Joe? What did he say? He said, you ain't black. Oh. That was hilarious. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it's, I've been forcing myself to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Because I have, I never eat breakfast, so I'm forcing myself to do that on a consistent schedule, and I'm starting to actually get hungry in the morning now, because I, I always get hungry late at night, but I'm not allowing myself to eat late at night, uh, so I can rewire my eating schedule, and just, just a little exercise. I actually exercised really hard yesterday for the first time, and it sucked. It sucked it so bad. Like when you, it's when you pass that, it's when you get the runner's high or whatever, it's like, you'll be working and it sucks, and then all of a sudden there'll be a point where your brain is like, oh, keep going, it, 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 come on. Think of how much you're losing. Think of how good your body's going to feel after this. And the truth is your body doesn't feel good. It feels awful for the next two days. Yeah. Because I, you're sore. I'm a little sore today, <laughs> but I know that tomorrow I'm going to wake up. Did you do weight training? Or, no, or? I did interval training in my backyard with Christian where it would it was this. It Max was, interval training is the best. Well, I don't know if we, it might be better for weight loss than it is for probably gaining muscle or anything. But what I did was you need to do like you need to use your own body weight against you to start out when you're doing like when you're gaining some. That's what I was doing. Basically, okay. twenty second squat 
directly into 20 seconds. Okay, if we're doing squats, yeah. I was about to say, if you're doing like more cardio in terms of like. No. Okay. Then immediately into 20 second plank, immediately back into 20 second squat, back into 20 second plank, 20 second shoulder taps. Yeah, Christian's pretty fit. Shoulder taps, back to plank, back to squat, back to plank, and then do that three times. And it fucking killed me i by the end i was shaking I, I couldn't hold the plank i kept falling and i was in the backyard and then all these ants started crawling on me and i was freaking out and i got bit by mosquitoes but one Any of the uncles yeah mm-hmm. and uh <laughs> i didn't get it at first i got that man that's good <laughs> thanks man i fucking love uncles dude i can't get i can't get enough of my uncle Ooh, great news we're now sending potential fraud calls to voicemail automatically for extra protection, the iOS 14 update includes silenced junk callers, dude. That's oh, big. Oh, shit. A new feature that auto-blocks potential spam calls and sends them to your recent calls and voicemail. For info and how to opt in, blank, blank, blank. I really like the new iOS. I got to piss, man. Okay. More ads, I guess? Ugh, I don't want to do more. Fine. Okay. I've told you I've been using Amazon Music for a while. It's been amazing. Get it? I am Amazon. Amazoning? You guys, uh, you see, saw what I was trying to do. You, you got it. From the start, but it just got better. As part of Prime Day, Prime members can get four months of Amazon Music Unlimited for just 99 cents. That's access to over 60 million songs on demand and ad free for less than a single dollar. So you can play the songs you want when you want. Just want to stream free? Amazon Music still has over a million podcast episodes at no charge, along with thousands of stations and top playlists. And it's the only place you can hear the first one from DJ Khaled. You guys know that I made a little EP? It's called Ouch. Guess where you can find it? You can find it on Amazon Music. So you guys can listen to the music I made on Amazon Music. Look at that. Isn't that isn't that nifty? You can even be like, yo, Alexa, play Ouch by Matt Watson, and it'll and it'll it'll play it. So you're gonna love Amazon Music Unlimited too. Get your Prime Day deal for a limited time. Prime members can get four months of Amazon Music Unlimited for just 99 cents. Go to Amazon.com slash Supermega. That's Amazon.com slash Supermega for your Prime Day deal on Amazon Music. New subscribers only. Renews automatically. Cancel anytime. Offer range 1014. Terms apply. I shop online I have actually pretty much uh, multiple times every single week. Um... And you guys already know where this is going, because these days it feels like online shopping is the only shopping we really do, especially with the pandemic. That's where today's sponsor Honey comes in. It's the free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and automatically applies the best one available to checkout. Honey is basically your online shopping best friend. Here's how it works. You get Honey on your computer for free in two easy clicks by going to joinhoney.com slash megacast. Then, when you're checking out on one of its over 30,000 supported sites, Honey pops up and all you have to do is click apply coupons. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons for that site, and if Honey finds working codes, it will apply the best one to your cart. I recently bought some Minecraft books for a video I'm working on. Um, I wish this was a joke. It's This is real. Uh, and Honey... Uh, actually saved me quite a, a good chunk of change because of how many Minecraft books I bought. It'd be like, oh, you, here's a $2 off this one, $3 off this one, boom, I saved myself a whole pan load of money. Did you know that Honey has found its over 17 million members over $2 billion in savings? That's a lot of cash. Honey supports all kinds of retailers, from tech and gaming sites to fashion brands to even food delivery. So, it's simple. If you have a computer, Honey should be on it. It's free and works with whatever browser you use. You can get Honey for free today at joinhoney.com slash megacast. That's joinhoney.com slash megacast. How is the sprinkle? Good, good. Uh, lifted, lifted the seat, sprinkled away. You know, my grandmother and my grandfather's bathroom in their trailer home, they have a little uh, embroidered framed picture. Of your penis. Yeah. Anyway, guys, <laughs> now it says, uh, if you sprinkle when you tinkle, please be neat and wipe the seat. That's so, so true. You know, people in public restrooms wouldn't get that. Dude, you look ripped when you just did that. Really? When you did that, yeah, it looked like you had big fucking muscles. You're looking good. You're looking really good. Thanks. You are. Well, Matt, maybe I do have big muscles. Ever think of that? Yeah, no, it looked like it. <laughs> I don't think I, I don't. I don't work out my muscles enough. Every every, usually every guy because they men tend to have more muscle mass than women. Sorry, ladies. It's just I, I blame God, but uh, usually it's just easier to maintain muscle muscle mass. Um, well, see, because I'm skinny, a lot of people when when they flex, it looks like their muscles are just like 
part of part of their body. Mm-hmm. Where because I'm so skinny, when I flex, you can just see my bone and then the muscle just see. sitting on top. It's just see, see just right there. It's that looks just, good, but like when I flex, I don't even think I, I, it looks like a muscle. Flex for me. One hundred percent, it is. Yeah, no, yours. Really? Does it yours, look solid? Yes, absolutely. See that big bump right there, that bicep. I'm trying to get my biceps big, bro. Bro. And, oh, let me just. Uh, I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say we should work out together, but the problem is our workouts are so different. Yeah. You know, I we're just, working I, out for the opposite reasons of each other. Yeah, I need to focus. Just high interval training and cardio for me. I mean, it would be good for me to all honestly do the interval training that you're doing as well, because the more muscle you build, the easier it is to burn calories I'm using off, a website. and the more calories that your body burns off uh, naturally. I'm using this website that Christian got me on that he's used since high school. I forgot what it's called, but basically, it's just a bunch of PDF images. Losers.com. Sh- yeah, probably. Dude, shut the fuck up. Losers it's- with baby penis syndrome. Dot com. <laughs> <laughs> Someone should buy that and redirect it to the website I'm talking about. It's, uh, <laughs> it's it's basically it'll just it's like a bunch of different types of workouts, but each one's like a page, and it yeah. just shows you uh, like icons of what to do, and then you repeat it like a couple times. So it'll be like twenty second push up, twenty second squat, but and then you just go down it, and then two minute break, then do it again. Two There's minute break. App literally made for that. They have an app too. Maybe it's the same. Same. It's one. called Seven. Something. Oh yeah, yeah. Seven, well, seven minute workouts, and the thing is, seven minutes is usually like an interval or or like two intervals, three intervals. But you can go and set it to like twenty one minutes. So you're just doing fucking so many intervals of that shit. Yeah, I really realized how out of shape I was last week because uh, I went for a, a walk late at night um, with Jackson, and we're walking around. Um, we were walking on this trail late at night, and Jackson's like, "Uh oh, I gotta have diarrhea." And he's like, we got to go home. So he started going home. I'm following him. I'm, we're going home. And he starts running. And he's, I'm like, okay, I'll run too. And I ran. We, we both ran for a little while. And my heart felt, felt like it was going to explode. It hurt so bad. And I just had to stop running. I couldn't breathe. And my heart was, with every pump, it just hurt. It was, doom, doom. I was like, ah. So I, that was kind of a wake-up call. I'm like, fuck, I'm out of shape. And what I started thinking about is, especially right now with COVID, if I were to get COVID, I want my body to be as strong as it can be to fight it off because if I'm really unhealthy right now and I get COVID, it's going to do more damage to me than it would if I had like a healthier heart or, uh, you know, more body mass or so I'm taking supplements every day and I'm trying to get my heart healthy and my lungs healthy. So if I get COVID, I got, I got, it's like, it's like in Minecraft when you got the armor on top, you know, it's a little, a little bit extra, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, I'm shaking my head. I chose not to speak because uh, y- uh, y'all don't own me. I don't need to fucking talk if I don't want to. It's a podcast. We could just have silence and upload the silence if we wanted. Can we do silence and then 20 minutes in do some ads and then 20 minutes later do some ads and just upload that as a podcast? Because technically we're meeting the ad agency requirements. Can we say we're doing it for a for a purpose? As a protest? As a protest to all the silence in Canada about the the problems Canada has but doesn't like talking about. How about that? We don't say anything, just the problems Canada has. <laughs> no, how about it's it's how about it's for the dude the war going on in Armenia right now? It's for, it's it's in consideration for Trump because we will not speak until he is clean of COVID and this disease. And if he dies, we will continue to not speak in his honor. So like five years from now, we're on episode like 600 and it's just silent. <laughs> and then 20 minutes in, Ryan, do you like shopping online? <laughs> oh man. I do like, I do like trying to make ad reads fun because let's be honest. Nobody. I don't. I just like money. Yeah. Well, I, I do too, but I'm, I'm Oh, oh, yeah, um, you're right. Cause no one, no one wants to listen to ad reads. Oh my God, dude. That literally was, the mic was resting on your penis. When you did that. Yeah, so it couldn't it couldn't have heard my fart. That's true. That's true. But we try to make them fun for you guys. Oh, oh. Dude, stop, dude. Ryan, that's disgusting, dude. You have to never let anyone else use that microphone. Stop, dude. That's so <laughs> gross. He's using the microphone like it's a like it's a dildo all no? over his gooch. And- how do you use a dildo on your penis and balls? You could stick it I down mean, the shaft. How do you use a, a dildo to wear as a hat? Because I was just wearing it. Stop, as a hat. Ryan. That's uh, it's upsetting to me that you're rubbing your cock and balls with the microphone. <laughs> why? It's turning me on. Oh shit. That's why it's making me uncomfortable. With my own sexuality. 
Stop. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god. But uh for me it's just funny because it's just people listening to the sound of the a sound grown of the mic man. rubbing on your gym shorts over your gooch and balls. <laughs> Oh, that's so hot, dude. <laughs> dude, I got so horny listening to the last Super Mega cast. <laughs> that's uh, what your mom thinks. Shut up, dude. Sound. This Seriously, one's for you, you man. Shut the... Stop, dude. That <laughs> legitimately was, was his... I could see the outline of his balls through his gym shorts moving over the outside of the microphone. So that's that's what that was. That's why people come for this podcast, man. It's, it's because we're so zany but and dude, goofy. We're they, just zany, man. We're can't, wacky. They can't predict what we're going to do next. We're just so random, dude. You know, people just, they, they can't get enough of the goofs. It's like, what are they going to talk about next? <laughs> fry tacos. <laughs> See? What are French fry tacos? What does that even mean? Does that mean little ta ta taco fries? Del Taco has that. They put French fries on their tacos. It's called making it epic style. Do they have a... Bloomin' onion taco? No, I don't think that'd be good. What about a bloomin' onion chowder? No, it's Del Taco. Why would they have an <laughs> item a, from Outback the, Steakhouse? The Del Taco bloomin' onion chowder. The the uh, dude Del Taco's bloomin' onion fish chowder is the best fucking meal I've ever had. What's the worst thing like a fast food chain could put out? Like, what's the worst thing McDonald's could possibly put out? Literally, like, clam just, chowder. No, they literally think of like you know how they have it wrapped up like a burger. Just the burgers are wrapped up and it says hamburger. It's one of those wrapped up, except it's just shit. It's literally just someone takes a shit right into one of those little things in tinfoil or like rolls it up and puts it in your bag. Imagine you're unrolling tacos and one of them is just a piece of shit. The McFeces. The McFeces. <laughs> That's good. Uh, fe uh, feces McFlurry. <clears throat> the <laughs> they got that Chips Ahoy McFlurry right now. I've been meaning to try. The what? Chips Ahoy McFlurry at McDonald's. Ooh. But, man, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, Ryan. They have the Oreo thing at Sonics which is pretty good are there even any Sonics around here no I I, I love Sonic yours. man I love it so much and you I can't remember the toasters where it was like the chick the you know like the, the Texas toast bread with the with the yeah the fuck dude Sonic is chicken so good and cheese and bacon why the fuck do they not have it out in LA the it's chili poppers the pepper poppers what are they the jalapeno, cheddar jalapeno cheddar jalapeno poppers. Jalapeno poppers dude and then remember you could get like happy hour and get a huge fucking drink for like so, such a small price. You know what their worst shit is, though? The, like, fucking Gatorade or Powerade slushies they have. And they pour, like, nerds into it. Like, I don't want that. I got that one, so I was like, oh, this sounds awesome. I got a Powerade slushie, and they poured a bunch of nerds Why candies into it. they pour nerds? I don't know. I guess that was, like, the thing they were doing at the time. And I took a sip, and it was, like, sweet and acidic and burned my tongue, and then just a bunch of fucking nerds in my throat. So I didn't like it very much. But they do have good milkshakes, and they're... Dude, they're fucking. Their they're burgers hot dogs, are fine. Their burgers, their chicken, chili dogs are great. Sonic's just good. Sides, quick their food. mozzarella sticks. I usually always got mozzarella sticks when I went there. I love that video of the dude uh, his first day on the job at Sonic, and uh, it just someone's. It's like a really short video. It's someone's filming him like leaving out the doors, like first day on the job, and then it cuts to them filming him like on Snapchat, where he's just like eating shit and dropping all the food. <laughs> it's so funny. So I can find it real quick. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I almost kicked over a measuring oh, it's cup. It's okay, dude. Why is there a measuring cup in here? Remember I was using it for that joke in the brand deal video where oh, I was peeing in your out. hands and I was using that to pour water. Oh, yeah, it was, just, it was a Foley, Foley device. And then they said cut out. Um, someone was like, why would you do brand deals that make you change your content? It's like, uh, because a lot of brands don't want the word cunt in their thing. And that's that's fully acceptable and I, I and I see that I, I don't like I don't get why a brand would be so like mad if if we said cunt I really don't get it I do think sometimes they go a bit far I'm but, kidding I totally get cunt and stuff like that but like one of the jokes in retrospect did make sense why they made us cut it and at the time we didn't get it but then it clicked days later we're like oh yeah <laughs> but okay could you imagine though they were probably like those fuckers they thought we were just <laughs> making fun of them good because fuck them they're a big business we just want their money yeah i do i just want some but here's just... the thing we're the suckers even though we're getting money they're using us to make more money off of our audience matt i know dude i know i know <laughs> corporate america <laughs> <laughs> 
You just can't win in a capitalist society. Sorry. Do we have any more dollars? I need to wipe away my tears. I only have a hundred. Kidding. That's a joke. That's a joke. What do that's you a mean? Joke. That's a joke. Of course, that's a joke. I don't know. People always come up with something where was Ryan really wiping I his tears with dollars? I Ryan Ryan sh shits in homeless people's mouth on purpose because he hates the fans so much. I don't know. People do have a stick up their butt. Is that true? Do you? Maybe. Just something I can't came up with randomly. It doesn't have to be true. But if it was, it doesn't mean that it's illegal. If they asked for it, if they're, if they're the ones asking me to take a shit in their goddamn mouth, and and I'm paying for it, I say that it's a service. It's 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 not bullying. It's not using someone. Uh, no, if they want it, then a, it's a service. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. We're good. S Super Mega presents bum fights. Uh, bum where, poops. Where we go, <laughs> where we rate the poops of 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 homeless people. We watch homeless people take a shit in an alleyway, and then we kind of we we inspect it and dissect it and, and give it a rating. <laughs> dissect. And and one to ten is how many dollars we give them. That's a good show idea, isn't it? We're just mm. full of good ideas. And the thing is, the thing that sucks is that they can't produce a good poop unless they eat well. And mm -hmm. if you're homeless, who knows what you're eating? So exactly. So that's the show does have a lot of variety. Remember when the guy that made bum fights went on Dr. Phil, but he just shaved his head and dressed just like Dr. Phil to look just like him? <laughs> yeah. And Dr. Phil's like, get off my stage. <laughs> I'm not doing this. And he's like, why? Why? Because that guy's a piece of shit for what he does. Yeah. The bum fight shit. But that shit was so funny. When he just well, Dr. Phil knew what he was doing. He just he dressed, he just comes dressed up as Dr. Phil. It's because you can't retort that. You can't just like talk down to someone when they <laughs> fucking make fun of you like that. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Dr. Phil, man. Yeah, he looks like a like a creepy porcelain doll. Dude, him and Steve Harvey look like two different versions of the same person. They both suck. Both Steve Harvey and Dr. Phil. My grandma, when I was a kid, my grandma, I guess she didn't have cable. She would always come over to my house to watch the Steve Harvey show. And it was like her favorite thing. You were thing. doing some Netflix and chill with your Yeah, with your so, nanny. so my mom would be like, your grandma's coming over. And she'd come and sit in the living room and put on, I'd have to get off the TV so my grandma could watch the Steve Harvey show. <laughs> Actually, my grandmother, uh, fun fact, my grandmother was the president of- uh, The United States, wow. Of, a, uh, of, of one of their, I forgot what it's called. It was a big feminist group, like early feminist group. She was the president of some massive feminist group. You know, a lot of feminists were still racist, man. That's true. Yeah. Well, my grandma wasn't racist. I can assure you of that. How about your grandfather? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I never met him. I never met the Why poor not? chap. I'm sure he's smiling down from heaven, though, on everything I've, I've been doing with the with the with his lineage. That's an interesting assumption. Smiling up from hell, then maybe uh, he was he was not religious. <laughs> Who's I'm pretty whose sure father? You, did you just did you just say my mom in hell? I didn't say he's in hell. I said maybe. But here's the thing. My grandfather was an atheist. Was he? Yeah. So why is your why does your mom why is your mom where did that come from your your grandmother? Where I guess so. Yeah. Because my my I remember someone told me I can't remember that they're like yeah your mom wasn't really so religious. It's usually it was like later in life. I do, think when people get people, later, is that what's gonna happen to us? We're gonna just be atheists or whatever, and then we're just gonna. Not atheist, I guess. Well, technically everyone's agnostic. Blah blah blah. I'm not here to fight definitions, but. Later in life, are we gonna want to just join a congregation and and assimilate? You know, yeah. And it's 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 basically uh, like my dad always says that to me. He's like, "You'll come back around, son. I know you will." Like just saying, "I'm gonna be a Christian when I'm in my 40s or 50s." He thinks it's because you're young and stupid and you don't know as much as wise old him. He says, "I'm gonna be a Republican," and he says, "I'm gonna be a Christian." He says, "I'm gonna come back around once I realize how much money the government's taking from me." Does he know that? Both Democrat and Republican policies have both in the past and currently have uh, both go into taking our money and and letting the rich keep. It's ne never mind. Never mind. It's fine. So the, the it's, it's just the Democrats. No, it's 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 both those idiots. Also, uh, I'm a proud Democrat. Wish, I'm a proud Republican. I wish I had met it's my grandfather because he. Uh, I got his nose, dude. I got his big ass honker. I saw a picture of him. I look a lot like him. Um, but he died before I was born. Um, Sounds like a good man. A, a man with conviction and morals. Well, he I, he might have not been religious because he fought in World War II at Iwo Jima. And he was there at the flag raising. Fun fact. You know, when they're all putting the flag up? Yeah. He wasn't in the picture, but he was there and saw it. Oh. And uh, he had PTSD for the rest of his life. And my mom said every time like a fire would, would go off, he'd like dive under a desk and like tear up and everything. So sounds like that was fun. So, yeah. Well, People 
like, I know this is like kids nowadays, but they really can't fathom the horrors of what countries put their citizens through in terms well, of Well, the war. crazy thing is back then, kids <clears> would <throat> want to do that. Like, they would lie th- 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 to say they're 18 so they could go they were to brainwashed war. brainwashed by patriotism. Like, they would literally, like, a 16-year-old would be like, I just want to go fight in war and, like, lie about it and just to go fucking fight in war. Because it was, like, glorified as this awesome thing. Uh, and you're this, like, it's just awesome. And then you get out there and, and it's like, uh oh. I guess wars. I don't, I don't know. I couldn't, dude, imagining, like, being in combat is, is one of the scariest things I can imagine. So, I mean, like, the people that choose to do it, it's very brave, but it's it's terrifying to me. Yeah. Like, I watched the Thin Red Line, the Terrence, uh, uh, m- 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 Ter- Terrence Malick. The, the Russian thing. I still have to watch that. No, what's, what's the director's name? Terrence Malick? Yeah, Terrence Malick. It, he, it's, it's about Terrence island Malick hopping. Terrence Malick did Thin Red Line? Yeah, it's about island hopping in World War II. Okay. And they're, it's them fighting the Japanese and it has. What? The Japanese. Ooh. And it has like John C. Riley, Tom Cruise, a ton of people in it, but it's really good. But it just like, made me realize like how fucking scary war is same with 1917 dude that shit that's where i was talking about frontier america all like the fucking kind of like just <clears throat> how it's 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 essentially because the brutality of the environment or the politics whatever was going on was reflected in the, the social i guess kind of there's no laws. relationships at that time there's no laws at that so time so when you think of war being brutal you like it is and like just there's pure acts of it but like it's also they you, I don't know. It's like we could developed countries can only go into underdeveloped countries and cause violence. Be- they they don't want to go into other developed nations because then that would cause a big, you know. Yeah, fight. you're never going to see China invade America or vice <laughs> yeah. versa. You always see us, you know, we'll go to Nicaragua, some Middle Eastern country, yeah. some African country. Fuck one of those. South up. American area, you know, we'll Oops. go there and fuck around. Oops, we broke your government. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oopsie. But we freed you. You're Oopsies. Free. We destabilized the region and made Oops. it easier for terrorist organizations to wreak havoc upon the population. Why are there all these goddamn terrorists now? Why do they hate America? <laughs> like, do, have you ever read about the banana wars? Yes. They killed a lot of people for and overthrew for bananas. But, hey, bananas are fucking good. And did you know about bananas? The bananas we have now are... Are a clone of... You've, you've said this before. They're trash bananas, apparently. you said apparently before. old bananas used to be so much better, and they don't exist anymore. They're extinct. And there were m- different types of bananas, and now we just got... One little trash banana. You know, that's what people say about the environment. You know, they say, the environment was a lot better back in the day before autumn. It's like, okay, bull, f- <laughs> you're just saying that to make me, make me jealous and make me, make me be a little more environmentally conscious. And when, when someone says that to me, you know what I do? I, I get in my, uh, my lifted truck and I, I fire off the smokestack. So it goes <laughs> and blows out all that coal smoke. Nice. Did you ever see those in South Carolina? I'm sure you did. Yeah. The guys that all would the have time. the smokestacks on the truck. some in high school. And they would just blow the black smoke out. I remember a popular thing at, I think it was both at the beginning and the end of the days, was there would always be some like big truck with one of, I guess, the popular kids. He's probably have some fucking problems now. He's... Because, you know, they're the probably li- already divorced. They've been married and divorced already. <laughs> the life of a popular kid with a big truck who gets all the attention in high school. Ultimately, unfortunately, their life doesn't amount to much, uh, usually. But uh, in this case, maybe it did. But usually I'm saying I remember, like, when the loud trucks, like, one particular would just kind of, like, the doors would be open. He'd just be sitting out there. You know, people would gather around to the loud noise because mm-hmm. the Alpha has signaled his 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 lackeys. The Alpha has spoken. And then the and the betas come and then, from, from far and wide to soak in the glory. And he goes and points gay, and then all the betas go. <laughs> Were you the one they pointed at? And all huh. the betas laugh in unison. Yeah, I had uh, people, uh, not in high school but middle school, that would uh, one time on a field trip pulled my arms back and like wrote like like red magic marker all over my nails and called me a. Damn, dude. Yeah, that's that's straight up like legit bullying. It is. Wow. Yeah. I remember one time uh, I was walking on the sidewalk on my way home from school and this kid yells the F slur at me out the window and his mom was driving. And I was like, what? 
That that's the popular thing I've noticed. There there are people who yelled the they yell it loud the F slur. I I'm gonna say bag because you know they'd roll down the bag like the kid scream like bag like try to scare you like make you jump. Someone threw a drink at me once out their car when they were going, but it didn't hit me. Oh yeah, they do that too. They throw like water bottles it's or whatever. Legitimately assault. Just what kids do for some reason because they know they're gonna be a mile down the road before you can do anything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, what can you honestly do? That's that's just what little dipshits do. It's what it's what cowards do. I would say people throw who, it and then stop the car. People who don't have any kind of sense of control or kids who probably are abused somewhat verbally, physically, emotionally. However, they are at home. They don't have a good life, and so they use the little bit of power they do have to enact that vengeance upon the what they deem is weaker person to them. You now know? you and I do something similar. But to Jackson, I'm what, kidding. What we do is drive around Glendale and you'll yell Red Dead Redemption voice <laughs> lines out the window at people. You'll be like, that was so funny. We're fucking driving around. Ryan has his head out the window. And every time we pass him on the side, we're just like, fine day. <laughs> it's a fine day, isn't it? <laughs> hey, partner. Alvin! <laughs> the f- why'd you do that? Do what? Just yell Alvin. What's that smell? You smell that? No, it's, it, it smells like tacos, but it's not your arm. No, no, no. It's yeah, like legit. Someone needed some out there, right? Jackson's probably making some Trader Joe's fucking, fucking tacos, microwave tacos. Damn, this is making me hungry, man. I might have to go get some of those too. And hey, what do you say we call it a day right here? Nah. Let me just send this text. Hold up. Let me just hold up. Okay. Cool. Bye, everyone. Oh,